Big sigh of relief for some families and teachers in Oakland after a year of sit ins and protests. They won a major victory this week when the new school board reversed the decision to close several schools. District officials said it was necessary to shut down these five schools next year to balance the budget as it faced declining enrollment. Well, now all of them will stay open. And Dahlin reports there are differing opinions on whether the district can handle the financial consequences. I literally was crying like the whole night. Happy tears when mom Christina Vesey and her son Jordan found out their school, Carl B. Monk Elementary, is saved. Carl B. Monk feels like community. It feels like home. It feels like comfort. And so the fact that this is going to remain open and my child will have that next year is, I'm elated. Christina attended many school board meetings to fight the closure. The previous school board voted last year to close or merge 11 schools over two years due to budget issues. These kids were out of school for a year and a half due to a pandemic, and then they come back, and now it's like, my school might not be here. And that's even more traumatic. The new board, with the progressive majority, voted this week to rescind the closures. The new board president, Mike Hutchinson, says they have the money to keep the schools open. The last thing I will ever do is bankrupt the school district that I love, and our financial health is sound. And so this is why we are able to move forward in these sorts of ways. He blames years of financial mismanagement for previous budget shortfalls. The district is still under receivership because the state took it over after Oakland Unified ran out of money 20 years ago. While the district is projected to be financially stable for the next two school years, experts say that's due to one time pandemic funds. The district's chief business officer says Oakland Unified has to be disciplined with its spending to stay healthy. We have a number of schools. That are smaller than 200 students. I call them micro schools. They're not even small schools, they're micro schools. Board Director Sam Davis voted to keep the school closures. He says short term pain leads to long term gain. Oakland Unified has 77 schools serving about 34,000 students. In comparison, Fremont Unified has 41 schools and close to 33,000 students. San Jose Unified also has 41 schools serving 30,000 students. And Stockton has 54 schools serving about 36,000 students. It's apples and oranges. We do not have a problem with being able to fund our school district. When you have, have 77 schools, you divide the pie up into 77 slices, each school is getting a much smaller slice. As for Christina and Jordan, they believe keeping their school open can help their community. We can be creative. They can be creative in their approach with money. Since Oakland Unified is still under state receivership, the state trustee can cancel the board's vote. The board is set to meet with the trustee next week. So the school board voted this week without having the financial analysis. District staff is scheduled to present, present a financial impact report at the next school board meeting, and that's in about two weeks.